Welcome to LeetCode's Blind Curated 75, where I'll be solving the top 75 LeetCode questions. This problem is called group anagrams, and here's the question. Given an array of strings, group anagrams together. We're given a list of strings, and we want to return an output where all the anagrams are put into a list and grouped together into a list of lists. You can see how 8, eat, and t are all anagrams, so they're put into a list. Nat and tan are also anagrams, so they're put into a list. Bat is by itself. There's no other string that's going to be an anagram of it. Okay, so how could we go about doing this? Now, I guess the first question to ask is, how do we know if two strings are an anagram? And one way you could do it is to count up all the number of individual characters in both strings and see if the number of characters in each string are the same. So we can use like a counter or a regular dictionary and just count up the number of letters of E, A, and T and compare that with the numbers of um, in each individual character inside this string as well. So we could do that, but let's kind of take a step back and think about how will we go about this whole ag um, algorithm. So essentially what we would think is we would go through each string and have some sort of hash or lookup dictionary to see if this um, letter anagram, the anagram for this letter has already been put into a list. If not, we'll just create a new um, list and input that word into that list. If that word has already, that word's anagram has already been added into this list, we'll add it to that. And we can do that by tracking it inside of a dictionary, right? So we can use a dictionary where the key is going to be the anagram of the letter and the value will be a list with all of the words that we found so far and continue to append that. But here's the problem with using like a counter or a hash to do that. Hashes aren't hashable, right? So we can't use a hash as an anagram for the key to look up inside of the hash for the for list. So that's a problem. So how is there any other way that we could figure out if two strings are an anagram? Well, one way we can do it is to sort it. We can sort it in ascending order by the character. And if the sorting sorted strings are the same, then there are anagrams, right? That's not as efficient as using a hash or counter. But the, the thing about that is if we just sort the letter into a key, we can use that key then. And, and that'll allow us to um, build up our, our list inside of a dictionary. So let's go with that. What we're going to do is have um, some sort of map or call it, hmm, well, I guess we'll call it lookup. And I'm going to use the default dict object. And that's just so that I can avoid having to do the, oh, if key is inside, uh, then, then create a list. If not, then append. Um, this will just allow us, it'll just do that part automatically for us. So what we'll do is go through each of our inputs and convert the letter or convert the word into a key. So we'll do that by sorting it. Well, we'll first make it into a list, then we'll sort it, then we'll reconvert that into a string and make that the key of the anagram. So for each word in strings, what we'll do is we'll first convert it into a list because um, that's really the only way that you'll be able to sort it efficiently. We'll sort it, sort this list, and then we'll reconvert that into a string. So we'll use the string join method. And so if the if there's two words, this key should be the same, right? So this is going to be the key. And what we'll say is, all right, look up key. This will be the key. We'll just append whatever this string is into this list. And this is going to allow us to keep track of all the um, anagrams and just build those up inside of these lists. So now we have our lookup. It contains a dictionary. It's a dictionary with all these lists all grouped together already. But we need to return that as a list, right? So how can we do that? Well, uh, we'll just say for each list inside of the lookup.values, we could initialize an output and just append this list to the output for each one. 
Now we just return the output. So we'll submit that. It looks like this example has gone accepted. And we'll submit it. And there we go. Um, huh, I don't know why it's suddenly so much slower, but but I, I guess you could simplify it a little bit. We could just com uh, convert this into a list instead. What we'll do is do a list comprehension. And that way we don't need these extra lines. It's a little more Pythonic as they say. Uh, let's see if that's any faster. I don't think it's going to be, but oh, okay. What I do here, oh, no colon. Wait a few seconds, submit it. And there, okay, so that's faster. Yeah, I mean, I, mean I, I don't think this is actually faster in terms of time complexity. It just, sometimes leak code does that. So this is my preferred method. There's definitely other ways you can do it. Uh, the key is to figure out a way to <laughs> create a key for each string that that's going to that's gonna be able to compare different strings to say, yes, this is an anagram that we've seen before. Uh, otherwise, I think it's pretty straightforward. Thank you for watching, and remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.